it. You give people solutions, but then you also expose the problem. That's correct. That's, that's the difference. And that's the difference because they told me if I take that out, there'll be no problem. Because they don't want alternative media to be activist, and instead of just getting in a fetal position to their attacks, you stand up and fight them. Correct. Now, they didn't attack me on the Debt Cures book and the free money where I exposed the corruption with the banking industry because that was already going on at the grassroots level anyway. So when I started exposing the specific corruption in the banking industry and how the consumers are getting ripped off, like, look at your credit card statement. You know, before we used to have usury interest in it. That's when they went crazy. Yeah. And I said, look at your credit card statement and look at you're getting you're paying 35 percent annual percentage rate. That's before the fees. If you add the fees in, some people are paying 400, 500 percent interest rates. That's when they went crazy. Again. Stay there. Let's explain because that's when they really dropped the hammer was when a couple years ago you came out against the banks right before the collapse. Kevin Trudeau's our guest. Stay with us. Kevin Trudeau, the evil one, according to the mainstream media, is here with us. And bottom line, he has his First Amendment right. And you were getting into uh, your, the latest salvo you lo launched a few years ago before the big bus came and they didn't like that explaining the usury the scams the loan sharking uh that was going on tell us tell us about uh, that information that you put out yeah and i knew i knew this particularly because i i actually sat on the yacht and i told you this last time when i called in from germany off the coast of barbados when we started writing the direct mail pieces to get people to get credit cards and we knew what was happening we basically were given a license to steal so my, my friends and i we own some banks so we were involved in this right from the giddy up but the, the idea was we charge fees because fees don't are not interest. And we could charge anything, a monthly maintenance fee, an activation fee, account review fee, an over limit fee, uh, uh, anything, uh, 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 any fee name we could come up with, we would charge you. And this is how when you add, add up the fees plus the interest, we, plus we got the Congress to allow on credit cards because of the um, potential default rate to allow us to charge over state caps. So before you had usury interest, it used to be like 20.74 interest rate. If you charge more than that, you were a loan shark. Now we could charge 30, 40 percent right on your, right on your bill, 40 percent annual percentage rate. We could charge you that, which is virtually enslaving people, because if you're getting charged 30 or 40 percent annual percentage rate, forget the fees. But if you just charge that, you can't pay it off if you pay your minimum balance. Just do the mathematics. It takes 30 years to pay it off. So if you have a, a $5,000 balance with the 40% annual percentage rate and the minimum monthlies, it takes 35 years to pay it off. You're an indentured sl slave, and you pay back $180,000 on your $5,000. So you wrote a book exposing that. You went on TV exposing that. Correct, and I was, of course, violently attacked. And now with, with the herpes cure that I'm releasing, talk about a violent attack. I mean, this is – and then when the weight loss cure, you know, there's four more drugs being approved for weight loss. You don't need any of them. I lost 45 pounds in 45 days. I've kept it off for four years. Hundreds of thousands of people have used that cure that was developed by Dr. Simeons in 1959 that I exposed in that book. The herpes cure. You do look super healthy for 47. Thank you very much. The, the herpes cure that came out. Um, and I haven't been sick in 25 years. And I haven't even taken an aspirin in 25 years. And I'm not a fanatic. I drink coffee. You know, I, I have cheeseburgers and French fries. So I'm not like a, you know, a, a tofu burger eating, you know, raw foodist or anything. So... These things are the reason why the attacks come. They're not coming from customers who buy it. They're coming from the government who who has no complaints. But it just shows you the power of the media. You know it as well as anybody. Actually, you are the king in terms of opening people's eyes to the truth. You connect with your audience. You're well-read. You have the data. You have the documentation. People trust what you say because what you say is the truth. And you are doing just an absolutely brilliant job of getting people to see that they are being slowly enslaved. But, Kevin, it's not that hard. I mean, here's a microcosm example, and, and I know you're a master of understanding psychology, so explain to myself and everybody else. What is the tactic where they say, there is no world government, Alex Jones is crazy, here's 200 articles a day announcing world government saying it's good. What is the psychological system there? What's, here, what are they going for? Works. Here's how it works. Number one, as Hitler said, a big lie repeated over and over becomes the truth. That's number one. So you have to get a big lie and you repeat it over and over. But secondly, it has to come from what's called a credible authoritative force. If you look at government buildings, you have to walk up these stairs to get to the government official.
the king. It's a power. Everything is done to elicit power on the individual. And then they're up on a big dais. That's correct. Now, this is done very scientifically. And I, I know this because we were involved in how to get somebody to say something with higher authority so that you believe it. You know the amazing Kreskin? Yes. Okay, he's a friend of mine. That's called suggestibility. So there's a lot of ways, without putting you in a hypnotic trance, to just do something that is a suggestion where you make the person believe it, yes or no. Here's a perfect example. You go to your MD, and he gives you blood pressure medication, or he gives you high, high cholesterol medication. And I ask people who've read my book, why are you taking your high, high cholesterol medication? Because I'm following doctor's orders. I go, excuse me, I didn't know the doctor gave you orders. I thought the doctor was somebody that you hired to give their opinion. It's a priesthood. Correct. So people are brainwashed, and they go like, they snap out of the trance. They go, wait a minute, you're right. He's not giving me orders. And as you know, it's even come out now in mainstream news that statins are frying people's livers and have nothing to do with cholesterol. I explain that in my book. It's one of the biggest money-making scams at the pharmaceutical company. Have you heard where the federal government and the Japanese government want to put statins in the water? Of course, yes. Let's get them in there. And, they, and, they, and the reason is not to help you. It's to... If you, it, we have to make human beings more um, trainable and and easier to control. So how do we do it? We put we spray the air, we put things in the water, we get you to take drugs, and then we use television with mind control techniques to numb you down and affect the. It actually affects the dendrite size in the brain and the neurotransmitter activity, which is why kids today are virtually drones. They just do whatever they're told from the authority. They just follow blindly. Wow, Kevin Trudeau, long segment coming up, a ton to cover. Let's get more into mind control. Let's get more into the big health care uh, tyranny. Stay with us.